Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about how I um, I make these builds, how I come up with Oblivion build ideas, because I think it would be very fun, you know, for people to just have that kind of list to come up with their own ideas, because you never know what you're going to come up with, you know. So, first of all, um, I don't worry about the viability of a character. So when I think up of something, right? Um, let's just take, for instance, something easy, an archer. I, I'm not gonna be like, well, an archer's boring in Oblivion. I save that for the video, but for building the actual build, I don't worry about how boring a character is, how unique they seem, because this game really surprises you when it comes to characters. You can have some character that really like a, like a speechcraft merchantile, you know, hand-to-hand -hand fighter, where, on the surface that seems really boring but maybe it's not you never know you never know so I never worry about the viability of a character and what I do first is I imagine some kind of character um, let's take for instance a Jedi right so let's just say I'm making a Jedi build which I already have this by the way ready to film and stuff so um, that's coming out soon but let's say I come up with a Jedi right there's in general a Jedi um, I kind of imagine, like, does, it's like, do I, do I want to play this character? Or do I want to make a build of this character, right? If one or two of those is a yes, then I go with it. You know, there's some characters where I'm like, hey, this would be a fun build, but I'm not going to play that build, right? And there, there's a variety of reasons. I mean, like, I, it could be like, I come up with a character, but I don't want to play it because I just made, you know, I just played a similar type of character. You know, you never know. So, um, the first thing I do is see if, do I want to make a build or do I want to make it, or do I want to actually play this character, right? And then, I work backwards from there, and I kind of add skills. So I'm like, okay, you got this Jedi here, you know, well, he uses his lightsaber, so that's blade. Uh, he doesn't use armor, so there's no armor skills. He's pretty smart, so you know, add intelligence. And I have this little, uh, I just write down stuff. A, on a piece of paper and you know I know the I know the skills uh, skill creation system like the back of my hand so you know I don't need a chart or anything like that but if you need to use a chart where like the two attributes go the specialization and all that you know definitely use that if you want to but I mean I don't need to because I'm just such a nerd of this game so I kind of work backwards from there and then um, what I do is so let's say it's just a, a normal character like an archer right I, I'll, I'll build my archer out, and, you know, Oblivion's pretty good since, you know, it's got those archetypes in mind. You're going to be able to build an archer class. But let's say it's something like a Jedi, right? There's many different types of Jedi. And if I go for something like an in-general Jedi type build, right? Let's just, a, in general, not like an Obi-Wan or a Luke Skywalker, you know, or I'm using a, you know, something like that. I'm not going to worry about specifics what I'm gonna worry about is have I is does this skill I'm adding to this character has this archetype used this skill before right so um, let's say a Jedi um, I just go through I'm like does a Jedi use any armor right no so I'm not gonna add those in um, does a Jedi use mind tricks yes so I'm gonna add in illusion you know does a Jedi a Jedi uses telekinesis so I'm gonna add in mysticism and I go from there and most of the time I mean Oblivion's so good Oblivion there's always usually seven skills like almost always like you can add seven skills and if not then I kind of have to go out of my way and relate the skills so a really nice skill is uh, destruction as a skill destruction you can do a lot with destruction, right? So let's just say um, I want to use a character like the Jedi, right? And I only have six skills, but I haven't added destruction in. Well, destruction can do things like disintegrate armor and drain magic, drain fatigue, or restoration. You know, maybe I haven't seen a Jedi heal himself, but um, Jedi's have high willpower. You know, they stay in the light. They don't go to the dark side. So you can use it to fortify something and then you use it to justify using that skill so that's what I kind of do when it comes to those characters where there's many archetypes of them right knights paladins many archetypes 
uh, town guards, many archetypes. But then, um, you know, if there's maybe not seven skills, I mean, you can relate these skills to anything. That's what's nice about Oblivion is any of the skills, um, you can really relate to them, right? Restoration, you can fortify health. Alteration, you can protect yourself. Both of which work out pretty well. I mean, they both do, that basically is the same thing, you know? And the last thing that um, I really do with my Oblivion builds is I go with my gut feeling, right? Um, you know, something that, a, a weird habit I picked up in school was to kind of tailor my homework to the teachers, right? I would worry about, you know, is the teacher going to take this wrong? Is this wrong? You know, stuff like that. Second guessing myself. And that's a really bad habit for making Oblivion builds. You know, I don't second guess myself. I'll literally look at a skill, right? Let's just say, like, I'm making a warrior and I add in, like, Conjuration or something like that. I look at it and I'm like, um, what does my gut say? You know, I'm like, eh, no. So I get rid of it, you know? That's why a lot of the times, like, um, my magicians and things like that, especially, like, mages and, uh, sneak-based characters, sometimes their skill set is really boring. Is because I'm like, well, I mean, this is a build, you know, let's say it's like for noobs. I'm not gonna add in illusion in a build for noobs. Because, like, it, to me, it just is like a hard, or mysticism, right? Mysticism and illusion, you know, I'm not gonna add that in for noobs. It just doesn't, you know, because to me, my gut feeling is like, if I was a noob, that would be super confusing and all that stuff. So, I go with my gut. Um, that's all I really have to say about this. Uh, so to recap, I think of a character that I would want to play, uh, whether or not they're boring or fun or you know anything like that, really doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter to me. And then I ask myself, would there be, would it be really cool if I made a build or made uh, or played this type of character, right? Uh, maybe making a build is boring, but playing it's really cool. I definitely, if one of those is yes, then I go for it, and then I don't really worry about specifics when it comes to the characters. If there's multiple types, like the Jedi archetype, for instance, or knights, you know, knights are a hard one because you have real life knights and then you have fictional knights, very different characters, you know, all that sort of stuff. I don't really worry about that. And the last thing is I go with my gut. If the build feels right, 99% of the time, I feel good about it. Every once in a while there's a skill, like the Jedi one, I actually forgot about the existence of telekinesis and mysticism. So, you know, I really didn't bother with it. But, most of the time, if you follow your gut, if a build feels good, it's probably good. So, guys, that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.